Well, hello everyone. I'm Yanni from BU for You Gaming, and today we are gonna play some Watch Over Christmas. So this is a brand new point-and-click adventure game that was just released on the 21st of December, and in this one we are gonna be joining Cisco here on a magical adventure to save Santa because Santa has been kidnapped. Oh no! So we are gonna be save, uh, trying to save Christmas, right? Um, so options-wise, there's not that many options currently. You can kind of change from full screen to windowed mode. Uh, you can't change the resolution currently or turn the subtitles off. I think the reason for this though is that in the coming months there's supposed to be voice acting added. It's not added currently so you have to read uh, things yourself but the dev said that it will be coming within the next few months. So if that's important for you, you might want to wait and play the game later or save it for next Christmas if you really want to play it during Christmas. Um, so let's see and then controls wise uh, there's actually a whole bunch of different controls you can use your mouse uh, there's all kinds of hotkeys there's actually a lot more hotkeys than what i'm used to from a point and click game uh, but i'm sure we're gonna figure it all out um and uh, there's also all kinds of presents apparently throughout the game there are hidden presents that you need to find while in objectives press this button to access the game's presents collection Okay, so we're gonna have to find presents. Oh dear. I'm gonna completely forget about that. <laughs> that would be typical. But anyway, let's just jump into this. Oh, I like that little cursor. A little cup of hot cocoa. Oh, look at this. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. Oh, there's something swirling around there. Hmm. Welcome, fellow adventurers. Our story begins on one of the most anticipated nights of the year, the night before Christmas. A time of year when all the houses are dressed up in bright lights and family stockings are hung on the mantelpiece with care. The children are all snug comfortably in their beds with only one thought dancing in their heads. Will Santa be soon there? Who? Oh, who are you? I wonder. And as the night is still young and serene, somewhere far, far away, everything is about to take a different turn. For our beloved Christmas is in danger of never being celebrated again. Oh no! Ooh, intro. Somewhere in a dark and damp cell. Oh no! That's Santa! Well, 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 after all this time, you're finally in my dungeon. It was about time, don't you agree? <laughs> Santa can't really say much. Ah, you know what they say. What goes around comes around, my old friend. <laughs> don't sweat it, I promise. I'll do my best. This year, Christmas will change entirely and forever. The best part, though, is that no one can do anything about it. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Meanwhile, in a small and quiet town. Ooh, December 24th. Oh, nice. Okay. A young boy's night is about to be shaken by a strange call, as in a few minutes he will be summoned to save the most beloved holiday of them all. I do see a little present there. I don't know if we were supposed to click that while we are doing the uh, doing things or reading it. Cisco, what are you doing down here at this hour? You should be in bed by now. I know, but I wanted to make sure everything is ready for Santa. Don't worry, my child. Everything is in place. The stockings are hung on the mantle. Cookies and milk are on the table. And as we agreed, I'll leave the Christmas tree lit. Fantastic, Mom. Oh wait, the fireplace is still burning. I'll put out the fire as soon as I go upstairs. Don't worry, we won't burn Santa this year. Time for bed then. I don't feel like sleeping, Mom. Don't you want to wake up early in the morning and get your Christmas present? Like crazy, I've been waiting all year for this night. You're right, I'm going to bed. Night night, Cisco. Good night, Mom. Ah. Oh boy. 
Oh, this is so cute. Ooh, girls only. Looks like you have a sister. Oh boy, oh boy! Watch over Christmas. Ah, There we go. Lights out in his room. Oh boy, I can't wait to wake up tomorrow and get my present. <sighs> Cisco, we... Eh, uh, who said that? Your help. Uh, your emergency. Is the radio really talking to me? Who is this? Please, matter of life and... Is this a prank? Please stop it, it's getting spooky. The only one, no time. Go to losing calm. Repeat, go to attic. What? Go to the attic? Must hurry. All our hopes. What's in the attic? And then we just have a lot of noise. Save in danger. Christmas never again. Did it just say save Christmas? Ooh, okay. Chapter 1, A Strange Glow. Ooh, I do see a strange glow over there. Uh, oh, okay, so we are back in the room. I guess I'll have to go to the attic and find out what's going on. Whoever it was, it sounded like they really needed my help. Okay, so right click on the inventory bag will bring up the menu. Right click on your teddy bear will bring up your current objectives. Do you want to check the full game controls before you start playing? Uh, no, let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, so uh, if we click on this, you can close it and it goes down there. But you can still see it if you just move this down. So if you don't want to have it up all the time. Uh, there we go. I kind of like that we can enjoy this. But I might change my mind and then have it up all the time, right? And then if you right click over here, go to the attic and find out what's going on. And then in here, we can see the presents collection. Uh, I assume this might be the chapters, so maybe there's three chapters, or maybe it's just pages. I don't know, but that's a lot of presents. What is that? 12 per page, so that's 36. Ooh, okay. Nice. Do I see any presents here? There's one right there. New present found. Awesome. Okay, so now if we go in here, we have a present right there. Look at that. Oh, and we can open it. <laughs> I just tried clicking on it to see if it actually wrote anything about it. But okay, it looks like some kind of locket or something. Hmm, I don't know. There we go. Or a piece of, well, it's a medallion or something, right? Okay, so we have a Christmas tree. And I think if we right click on it, we can look at it. One thing I love about Christmas is the blinking lights. Cool. Uh, okay, so we have the computer. I love chatting with my friends from space camp. And guess what my homepage is? That's right, NASA. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we can actually use it. No time for that right now. Okay, so we don't want to do it right now. We can talk to it. I wish my computer was as advanced as Deep Thought so that it could talk. Hmm. Uh, and then you just say yes. Okay, so if you left click, you kind of get the look option. If you right click, you get the other options as well. Uh, okay, good to know. So... That's my handout, literally. <laughs> oh, we can use it, but I don't really want to do it. Oh, we can open it. Oh, that is cool indeed. Nice. Isn't that cool? Yep. Oh, we have a telescope too. Oh, that's Cosmos. It's Cosmos, not an ordinary stuffed teddy bear. Uh, we spent many nights staying up late together. Cool. Bet. Uh, okay. Oh, we can pick him up. Come here, Cosmos. Okay, so now we have Cosmos. Cool. Nothing else down here. So I think we are just going to close it again. Oh, we can actually hide in here still. Nice. So that would be something to do as well. Right. Oh, blinking lights. By watching them closely, I believe they follow a specific pattern. Oh. I wonder if that's going to be important. But it goes a little fast for me to notice. Infinite Moonscope 7GT, a birthday present from my mom. In a clear night sky, I enjoy observing the stars. Hmm. 
Ooh, okay, we can open that one. And who's gonna fix it later? <laughs> okay, don't open it then. Let's try and use it. I could buy remove the lenses for cleaning. Ah, uh, okay, so maybe we're gonna have to need the, the lenses later. Ooh, radio. That's where the voice came from. Did it actually speak to me? Good question. It's fine where it is. Okay, we don't want to bring it along then. Hello, is anyone in there? No? Hmm, whoever that was, it sounds like they aren't there anymore. Uh, okay, what if I use it? Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, that just sounds like a... Yeah, the radio is working normally. Phew, I wouldn't like to hear that voice again. <laughs> okay, I kind of wanted to try something. I don't think we need to do it right now, but... Let's try and open it. Oh, come on, open. And... Hide. Even if I wanted to hide in there, I couldn't. It would be so stuffy. Okay, so it's not something I want to do right now. Just in case something would suddenly pop out, right? If we actually did that. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Uh, that's Zoe's room. She's always keep... She always keeps it closed. Hmm, that sounds like a typical thing, right? Oh, we can actually go in there. Oh boy. Probably gonna yell at us or something now. Hey Zoe! Hey Cisco! Oh, Zoe, Zoe, do you believe in Santa? Here's just a story for the kids. Really? And who puts the presents under the tree? Mom and Dad, who else? But I never caught them doing that. Maybe because you were sleeping? Nope, one night I hid beneath the dining table but neither of them came down. Mom found me in the morning sleeping on the couch and guess what? The tree was full of presents. Oh, Cisco, you need to grow up. Maybe that's the problem, that you have grown up. Santa is real. Santa is the magic of Christmas. Santa is just a marketing figure for the holidays so people will buy presents. There's nothing magical about Christmas. Oh, really? In just one night, a single night, Santa has to travel 316 million miles and based on the number of people and houses in the world, including the Earth's measurements, having an average speed of 6.7 million miles per hour, he makes 822.6 visits per second. If that's not magic, then how does he do it? Okay, I think we've got a little uh, nerd here. Or at least someone who likes to read and study things. You creep me out sometimes, you know that, Cisco? <laughs> How can you say that? Easily. You're not funny, you know. <laughs> no time to argue. Okay. Hey, sis, why do you have so many posters? Because I like music and they look cool. Hmm. Any personal favorite? The Guilty's best band ever. The latest album poster is the one next to the door. Thanks. Good to know. Oh, that must be this one, right? I prefer blinking lights. They're cooler. Whatever, Cisco. Hmm? Uh, who are you chatting with? None of your business. What's the story with the pink flamingos? Do we have pink flamingos over here? It's my spirit animal. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. So this was the poster. A poster of Zoe's favorite band. I remember one night she had to sneak out to go to their concert. She never misses anything that has to do with this band. Hmm. Don't touch my stuff, Cisco. I was kind of expecting that to happen. <laughs> Uh, okay. Ooh, we have a flamingo lamp. They don't really have any particular significance, but for, for some weird reason, they're very popular as lamps or neon lights. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything else here we can interact with. We do have... Can I... Look at it. Uh, it's Cosmos, my faithful teddy bear. He's so lifelike that sometimes I talk to him. 
Ew, cool. Mm. Ooh, book. Hogfather, a Discworld novel by Terry Pratchett. Hmm. Probably can't take that either. No need, I have already read it. Ah. Hmm. That so is guitar. I have to admit she plays really well. Uh yeah, I don't think she wants us touching that either, so let's not let's not make her angry right now. Okay, let's head back out. Oh, our inventory kind of stayed up. Uh Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's our room. A distinctive houseplant. Mom says it helps to purify the air. Ew. Nope. I might be allergic to latex proteins. Hmm? Oh, I can see the backyard from here. Nice. Do we have any presents out here? Hmm. Do we have a little dog? I wonder if there's a way we can... Oh, boys only. Mm -hmm. I don't see any presents right off the bat. Okay, so we can see it, but we can't go out there. That probably leads out there, right? So let's go over here. We keep bathroom stuff here, toiletries and medicines usually. Hmm. See if there's anything useful in there. Ooh, a piece of rope. That's an odd place to store it. Dad is famous for his slubbiness. I wonder if he thinks it has anything to do with toiletries. <laughs> I think that would be helpful. Why not? It might come in handy. Rope is always something you want to bring when you go on adventure, right? Guess what a mirror is? That's right, Zoe's favorite item. <laughs> Ooh, Paul. There's nothing hidden behind it. Trust me, if there was, I'd know. Ew, okay. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Nah, I'm too old for that. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have another door here. This kind of looks like it leads up, right? Ooh, we have some frames. These are Zoe's first drawings as a child. She's the artist in the family. Oh, so she draws and she um and she plays music. That's cool. We can't do anything with this one over there. We could go back down, but we kind of actually need to go oh switch. It controls the attic lights. Okay, it looks like they're on right now, so that's probably a good thing. Right, it's down, so mm-hmm. Well, let's see what's in here. Oh, mom and dad, their bedroom, okay. Uh, ooh, we have a closet. This is where my parents store their clothes. Dad has his own closet organization system. He's so good at it. Okay, I think they're gonna ask what we're doing. Dad wouldn't like that, yep, if we try to open it. Dad, what are you doing? Just sapping. Why? Are you having a hard time deciding which program to watch? No, it just relaxes me. Hmm? Isn't that really annoying? Maybe for your mom. Thank God she's still rehydrating her face. Can I try also? No, Cisco. As far as I know, you should be in bed by now. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Do you believe in Santa, Dad? Sure. Doesn't sound like it. No worries, my boy. I have a feeling he's going to visit us tonight really early. Seriously? Yes, but he's a little shy. Unless we all fall asleep, he won't come down the chimney. Oh boy, oh boy. Hmm? The weirdest thing happened, Dad. Such as? <laughs> the radio talked to me. That's how radios work. <sighs> so he's not helping me. Seriously? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> no sarcasm there at all. <laughs> I'll go back to bed now. Okay, so let's have a little look around. There's another window over here. Let's see what's out on this side. Hey, I can see Bobbin's house from here. As neighborhood kids, we get together in the afternoons and play in his yard. Okay, but we don't get to actually see it. So it's probably not a place we can go to. Mom? Yes, Cisco. What are you doing, Mom? Didn't you go to bed a few minutes ago? Sure, um, but I had to help um, Zoe. Really? 
Yes, something with her laptop. Glad to know that you get along with each other. <laughs> Look at that innocent face. <laughs> Do you believe in Santa, Mom? Do you, Cisco? Yes, but sometimes I get confused. Well, I'll tell you this, my dear. You don't necessarily have to believe. To believe is to have faith, and Christmas is not about faith, it's about magic. Ooh. Something really strange happened, Mom. Are you trying to stay awake past midnight again? No, I'm serious this time. Fine, what happened? I went to bed, as you told me, and just as I was about to lie down, a strange voice spoke to me through the radio. <sighs> At first, I couldn't make out what it was saying because of the white noise. It was like a static mumble. Then I focused on it and caught some words. It knew my name. So spooky, Mom. <sighs> also, something about the attic, that it was urgent and there was no time to waste if it wanted my help. So guess what its last words were? I cannot imagine. Save Christmas! I have to save Christmas, Mom! Oh, Cisco, you have such a vivid imagination. <laughs> okay, I'll go back to bed now. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else here we can do? Not really. Mm. But yeah, you can press, what was it, space, and that kind of shows you all the hotspots. So anything that you can interact with. And then there was, was it B or something? That is the, oh, presents collection, not really what I wanted. Okay, but that was the objectives and tab. Okay, tab was supposed to do something. I think that was actually supposed to do this, but it doesn't really do anything. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just move back out. I just like exploring, exploring everything. Okay, but we need to go into the attic. Wait, ooh. Not having much luck with that. Oh no, something's blocking the trap door. I have to find another way in. Oh. I remember it was stuck once before, but Dad managed to enter somehow. Maybe I should go and ask him discreetly. Ooh. It controls the attic lights. Uh, oh, yep. Oh, turn on. Now it's on. Is it on up? Okay. Here in Denmark, down is usually on, I think, or no, up is on. It's because we don't really have this kind of type of switches that much. So yeah, up is on, that makes sense. Okay, but that didn't really change anything. But at least now it's on. So I guess, no, 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 wrong way. We need to go over here. Dad, do you remember the time the attic door, trap door was stuck? Actually, I'm trying to forget it. Why is that? Well, it was not one of my finest moments. How did you do it? Sorry, son, you're too young to share this information with you. Oh, come on, please. Sorry, Cisco, still a no. Mom said she admired you that day. You were so brave, like a hero. Really? Sure, and I admire you too. Thank you, Cisco. But I didn't know how you did it. All right, but don't tell your mom that I told you. I swear. I had to climb up to the roof. You see, the attic window is right above your room and your sister's. So I went up there and entered through the window. It wasn't as easy as it sounds. I had back pain for almost a week. Good to know. What? Don't even think about trying that. Your mom will kill us both. I mean, good to know the reason for admiring you. Oh, thank you, son. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I didn't want to use the one would need your help, because then he would definitely know what we were up to, right? So, there you go. So now we know that we have to go up into up onto the roof. Actually, I'm wondering, when does the game save? I think we actually have to do manual saves. Well, there is an auto save. Let's just make sure to save. There we go. So now we have a little save there. Because I haven't really noticed, there might have been a little pop-up sometimes when it saves, like it is in some games, but I haven't really noticed it. Um, but let's try this door here. Ew, okay, so we, of course we have to go downstairs. I forgot we are upstairs, so we'll have to go downstairs, I guess, if we have to find a way. We have to go outside. 
to get up on the roof, but let's check this out. Ooh, faucet. Just like Karate Kid, a simple mode of operation. Turn on, turn off. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh! Let's try that again. I forgot to see what he said. Hmm, there's no hot water. Ooh. That's too bad, especially on during winter, then you really want the hot water. I look awesome. Mm -hmm. No, I might break it. Who wants seven years of bad luck? So no picking that up. I don't need to build self-confidence with the mirror technique. <laughs> no, okay. Is there anything else here? Nothing that we can pick up. We got some rope though, so that's a good thing. Enriched with aloe and vitamin E. That says it's perfect for sensitive skin. Oh, that's some fancy toilet paper. Um, I guess if I need it, I know where to find it. Okay, so we don't really want that right now. Baby oil. I've always wondered if olive oil is made from olives, then baby oil. You know? Scary, right? Still, it's an unusual place for it to be, but Dad seems happy with it. Well, let's take it. Oil can also be very handy, right, at times. If you need to get something working a little bit more smoothly. They smell so nice. Mom keeps them always tidy and clean. I've already taken my bath for today. Okay, so, but we got some stuff. So now we have a robe and we have some baby oil and we have customers. Mm -hmm. I think that's everything we can do in here. So let's go back out. Aha. There's no need to go downstairs now. Uh, do we have to oh did he say something about climbing it was right above our room so do we have to climb out the window i forgot that part of the story mm. that was right the attic window is above my room and so is so we can see cisco right here so that's the attic window but i don't see how i could get in there through my window mm. better not i don't want to let a chill into the room um i kind of feel like we need to get the rope up there somehow but oh, we also have a ladder so Maybe if we go out this way, we can climb this way up and this way and there. Get down that way, maybe. Mm. Then we have to get out this window. So this is so easy. Um, this must kind of be... It's not the bathroom and then the parents' room is on the other side. Mm. But yeah, see there's, there's a package down there, that's why I'm thinking we have to go out here because there's also, it looks like we should be able to get into the basement. Okay, so we can't go in that way. Going through... Hmm... No, the bathroom is also on the back... Uh, or is on the other back side and then the other window we could see would be over here somewhere. And then this is also kind of behind the house so we can't see it. Hmm, I'm not sure. We're gonna be very successful with this. Uh, we can't access your window, so how do we get up there? Do -do -do. Well, then there's this window. That's the backyard. Hey, there's a ledge out here. Maybe I should try and see if I can stand on it. Oh. Aha, so. Hmm, Dad said he had to climb to the roof who wants to access the attic. And this is the only window of the house that leads to the roof. I'd better get out there and figure out how he did it. Ooh, so that's what we're gonna do. Oh, greenhouse. Mom's office. She spends quite a lot of time in there designing gardens. Ooh, okay. Neat. I have a basketball hoop. I love playing basketball with my dad on Sundays. Okay, so now this maybe this leads into the living room. Yeah, that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, we have the greenhouse. My faithful dog sucks. He sleeps like a puppy. Ah. Okay, we can't call him. That's probably not a good idea either because he might start barking, you know, out of excitement, 
and then wake up everybody well they are not really sleeping but at least get their attention right Dad and I built it in just two weeks. Now it's my lair where I hang out with my friends from space camp. Cool. Uh, okay. Well. Oh, we made it onto the roof. Okay, but we are completely out of time. Wow, that took me a while to get to the attic. It's my, our very first objective. But I do like taking out all these things. That's part of the game for me, at least, to... Uh, you know, check out everything and at least we got a few things collected that we might actually need in the attic and then we don't have to go back for them. So, uh, we are going to continue with this next time, guys, but let me know what you think about it so far. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. Do take care and happy gaming.